In this lesson, we're going to look at the recursive formula of a geometric sequence. So once again, so when something is geometric, that is when you are multiplying by the same amount. For example, 10, 20, 40, 80. So what we can see is that we are multiplying by 2 each time. We also get sequences where the numbers are becoming smaller. And so what we are doing here is we are multiplying by a half. You might be saying, yeah, but Kevin, aren't we dividing by two? That's the same as multiplying by a half. Now, when we are using geometric formulas, we don't want to see how much we're dividing by. We rather want to see how much we are multiplying by. And that's why I'm rather using multiply by a half. Now, in the previous lesson, I showed you how to use geometric sequences when you use the explicit formula, which was the one that goes like this. But in this lesson, we are going to be looking at the recursive formula. So let's begin. So here we have a geometric sequence. We can tell this by seeing that we are multiplying by 2 each time. So determine the recursive formula. Recursive, just I just want you to look at the first two terms. How do you go from term 1 to term 2? Well, you multiply by 2. So we could say that term 2 is equal to term 1 multiplied by 2. That's it. Now just turn it into the normal type of um, notation that we normally use. So we could say term n, so that would be term 2, is equal to the term just before that. So if you're looking at term 2, then this would be term 1. So if this is term n, then this must be n minus 1. Okay? And then we're going to multiply that by 2. So what that means is that term 5 would be the same as term 4 multiplied by 2. Term um, term 4 would be the same as term 3 multiplied by 2. Term 100 would be the same as term 99 multiplied by 2. So to go from one term to the next, you're just going to multiply by 2. So the formula that we are actually looking for, I'm just showing you some examples over here. The formula that we are actually looking for is that over there. That is called the recursive formula. Here's the next one. So here we are multiplying by a half. You might want to say dividing by 2, but you rather have to see how much you're multiplying with. Now, to work out the recursive formula, we could start by saying term 2 is the same as term 1, but then you have to multiply by a half. So we could say term n is the same as the term just before it, which would be n minus 1, multiplied by a half. And that would be our answer. That's the recursive formula. Let's do this one. So here we are um, dividing by 4. That's the same as multiplying with a quarter. Okay. If you can't figure that out, you should always take the second number, divide it by the first number, and that's a quarter. Or if you wanted to, you could even take the third number, divide it by the first number. It's also going to be a quarter. So we could say that term 2 is the same as term 1, and then you have to multiply that with a quarter. So we could say term n is the same as the term just before it, multiplied with a quarter. Here they give us the recursive formula, and they want us to find term 4. They've given us term 1. So we could say that term 2, so you have to start with term 2. You can't go all the way to term 4. You have to go one by one. So that means that term 2 would be the same as term 1, multiplied by 2. But we know that term 1 is equal to 2, and so that would give us 4. So now we know that term 2 is 4. So now we can say term 3 is the same as term 2 multiplied by 2, right? Because if this is a 3, then this would be a 2. And so we could say term 3 is then term 4, which, I mean term th 2, which was a 4, multiplied by 2, which is 8. So now we have term 3. So now we could say term 4 is the same as term 3 multiplied by 2, and so that means term 4 would be 8, because that's what term 3 was, multiplied by 2, which is 16.